I think this new AI tool just completely changed how I'll be writing every SEO focused blog post moving forward. Check this out. All right, so the tool is Writesonic, as you probably know from the title of this video, and their new SEO AI agent is pretty insane. And the reason for that is because it automatically integrates with Ahrefs, which by the way, Ahrefs is an expensive tool. So if you wanted to go buy Ahrefs yourself, you're gonna be paying anywhere from 129 all the way up to $450 per month. But through this AI chat tool, you can access all of its data so that it can use that data to write your blog post. So I'm talking keyword research, competitor analysis, all of that data you'd normally have to pay for through an Ahrefs subscription. You can now get through this AI tool and then you can have it write the actual blog post for you. So let's walk through an example. So for example, I'm going to say that I write a local blog for Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I want to write a new blog post on the best vegan restaurants in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now, I don't condone veganism, but that's what we're going to write about today. So I'm going to say I write a blog about the best things to do in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'd like to write a blog post about the best vegan restaurants in Myrtle Beach that will rank number one in Google. Can you please do the keyword research for me and come up with a content strategy for this post? And let's click send. All right, it's thinking. So as you can see, it's using Ahrefs here for the keyword research. It's pulling different um, competitor analysis. So it's finding what other ones are ranking in Google right now. Uh, also using Ahrefs over overview for that. All right, now that took a little bit uh, because it was pulling all of this data and information, but it just gave me my report. And this isn't just some other, you know, chat GPT spit out of like, yeah, you should use relevant keywords. Uh, you should use maybe this keyword. It's actually giving me the real keyword research, the cost per click, the actual difficulty, the amount of searches, all of this data that I can use. So like these keywords, uh, vegan restaurants, Myrtle Beach has 480 monthly search volume while Myrtle Beach Vegetarian options has 170, right? So that doesn't get as many searches per month, but it still gets some. So it still might be worth including in the blog post. So it gives me all these key takeaways. It's recommended content structure, off-page SEO and promotion. It gives me a whole entire content strategy, the technical SEO consideration, all of this stuff. And now because it's AI, I'm just gonna say, hey, using that research you just did, can you actually just write the post for me? Let's give it a try. Using the, let's use their wordage. So using the content strategy you just put together for this post, can you write the post for me? Now let's see, let's see what it does. And boom, that took like a minute and it used all the strategies that it just found to basically write this for me. I didn't have to do anything. So uh, it, it even listed all the additional notes, make sure to replace the placeholder text for interactive map. So like at the top here, it says, hey, we, we recommend you insert a custom Google map with pins for each featured restaurant. That would obviously be cool to add to this. It even added like quotes from Vegan Explorer on Instagram. So like it's actually grabbing quotes from different Instagrams or from uh, TripAdvisor. This is pretty insane. Like just going out and finding these quotes would take me so long. Let's go ahead and paste this into a Google Doc and boom, just like that, we have an entire blog post and it's essentially ready to go. Drop in a few images, drop in a Google map. I'd probably go through this and just make sure it's like in my language or uh, make sure that it sounds right. But just like that, this would have taken, I don't know, three hours in the past. And this just took maybe three minutes. And I think something like this could absolutely rank on Google. This is sick. Okay, let's uh, let's try one more example. For another example, let's pretend like we run a SaaS tool that competes with something like Loom. So it's a, a video SaaS tool that you'd use to record your screen and record video and then be able to send it to people like you can with Loom. So I'm gonna say, I run a SaaS tool that competes with other video tools like Loom. I'd like to write a blog post about Loom alternatives and include my tool as number one on the list. Can you do keyword research for me and come up with the content strategy for this post? Send it. Okay, so it says, to help create the most effective keyword research and content for your Loom alternatives blog, I need a couple of details. What's the name of your SaaS video tool? This will help us position it effectively as the top Loom alternative. Okay, so a tool that I like using is called Tella. I think they just got the 
tele.com for their website. So let's just pretend like we are Tela for this example. Yep, so one, the name of my SaaS is Tela. Which country market are you primarily targeting? Primarily targeting business owners in the US. I like how it actually asked me that because that will actually help them do better keyword research. And then obviously when I ask it to write the actual blog post for me, it's gonna be able to use that information in it. And I love these type of blog posts because there's a lot of people that search for alternatives or verse, for example, I've done this myself and that's how I found Tela.com. I didn't want to use Loom. Loom isn't that great. I wasn't having great results with Descript. Their video recording isn't great. And I want to say I came across one of these blog posts about best Loom or Descript alternatives and I started using Tela. So these are effective blog posts. If you run any type of online product or SaaS, you should absolutely be writing blog posts about the best alternatives or your product versus another. Those get a ton of traffic and you're the one writing them. So you can put yourself as a number one. Okay, so it looks like uh, it failed some of the competitor analysis. I, I wanna say Tela just switched to their .com. I believe it was Tela.tv and I bet that's why. I bet it's why they couldn't find any information on it because their previous domain was Tela.tv. So I think that's the reason why it wasn't able to find those. Anyway, that's fine. If I was actually doing this, I would go back and say, hey, actually, can you look up Tela.tv instead of Tela.com? But I, I think that's totally fine right now. This is all awesome, right? So Loom Alternatives, 6,600 searches per month. These are kind of difficult to rank for. Cost per click is, you know, $2.50. But look, they even give me the long tail keyword. So like these might be better to target because although they get less search volume, they're a little bit less difficult to rank for. So content structure, on-page SEO, actionable next steps. These are kind of like eh, fluff. Like, I don't know. This sounds a little bit like ChatGPT, like uh, content creation, assign a skilled copywriter to draft, whatever, that's fine. I think continuous optimization plan, all this type of stuff, like outreach campaign, like how to how to get it out. This is fine. This feels like ChatGPT. Did ask it to give me the entire content strategy, so that is fair. Using the content strategy you just put together, can you write the blog post for me? Also, also Tela, your website is actually Tela.tv. Hopefully that will help. Now let's let it write this blog post for us. It looks like it just failed to find the organic competitors of tele.tv too. So maybe that wasn't actually the problem that I, uh, that I put dot com instead of dot tv but it's reading tele.com weird that it can't find it okay so based on the content strategy and the updated information about tele's website i'll provide a comprehensive research workbook to guide the creation of the high quality blog post okay sweet so it gave me these keywords again these keywords show significant search volume and moderate difficulty so basically it's, it's giving me the content strategy again and this is pretty awesome. So it came up with this competitor overview. So it gave me the key features and then the pricing. Again, this would take me a while to go make if I had to do it manually. Okay. And it's telling me what we should do. Competitive pricing starting at 19 per month. So it updated the report, but it hasn't actually written it yet. Because I gave it new information about the .tv instead of .com, I believe that it's now ready to actually write the post. Using the new information, can you write the actual blog post for me? No. Certainly, I will write it for you. Boom. Tell a rank number one. <laughs> I probably take that out. <laughs> That's funny. I did tell it to rank it number one. Tella, the ultimate loom alternative. Pricing, why? Tell. Okay, this is, I love this. I love how it makes a comparison table for me that I can just drag and drop because that stuff takes time. They went out and did all the research for me. This is pretty awesome. Okay, let's paste this in our doc again. Okay, this didn't quite come out right. I think mm, I just need to put borders around the table. That's okay. But this is pretty good. It found OBS Studios Cam Camtasia, uh, Vidyard, Screencastify. These are all legit competitors and it ranked Tela as number one. Boom. Okay, like if you're not using something like this and you're writing, I don't think anyone, you know, it's 2025, I don't think anybody is writing blog posts uh, manually anymore, but this is a game changer if you're writing a lot of SEO blog posts. And I don't care what anyone says, SEO is not dead yet. I still get many visitors every single day through SEO. So I don't think there's any reason you shouldn't be doing this, especially seeing how quickly you can pump this stuff out. And it's basically like all upside, right? You put this on, maybe you don't get any traffic for the first week or for the first month, 
But then things slowly start snowballing. Google picks things up and you start getting traffic and that's free traffic that you would normally be paying for. So I really like this tool. I'm gonna continue experimenting with it and see all the different use cases that I can have. But this replaces a you know employee who you'd have to hire to write all of these out. Last thing I'll say here, in today's fast-paced digital world, I can always tell when something's written by AI, when it says, in today's evolving landscape or in today's fast-paced world, please stop doing that, okay? I always try to prompt AI to say, do not start it with in today's fast-paced world or in today's evolving landscape. That gives it away immediately that that was written by AI. So I'll take away one point on that. So change that on all of your SEO blog posts, but I'm still super impressed with this and I will definitely be using this on some of my different websites. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I'll leave a link down in the description that will give you a discount on this tool if you wanna try it out for yourself. But as always, I appreciate you watching and 